President Bola Ahmed Tinubu with Nigerian delegation at the venue of the G20 Compact with Africa Conference in Bali. However, this speech by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu that Nigeria is open for business at the G20 Investment Summit has got many Nigerians talking to the extent of saying, who wants to invest in a country full of political criminals? Please take a listen to this speech and as you are watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Coming back after this video. Thank you very much. I believe I have completed several programs that Nigeria is open for business. Uh, it's a transformative Nigeria. We have had constructed democratic connection since 1999. And from there, we have been able to change from one government to the other, and that seems recently one particular party to another. And here is a simple democracy. Since I took over in May this year, we will come back on transformative changes. All of the hindering our processes is very important. We are holding the economy based on the principle and philosophy of good governance. For us in Nigeria, we have the largest population in Africa and in the US and in the US for We are reforming the economy to accommodate foreign investors. <laughs> Aside from being the first and the leader in the energy sector, the gas and hydrogen is a matter of you know time for us. We have a huge deposit of gas and you will have a friendly environment. Equally, we are looking at our physical responsibility and learning times reforming our financial institutions to accommodate foreign investors. We are ready to partner with you. We have the youngest partners, youth population, and that's in Africa all through. And I believe Nigeria is a leading population in that area. Equally, we have what modern economy means. Well educated population. Equal, we have the opportunities to digitalize that on the rapid move of that digitalization of our economy and environment. So, telecommunication is one of the best areas to invest. Agriculture is one of the best here. We have a very mobile population, and I want to thank all our children for his participation to Nigeria, uh, who are able to have very fruitful discussions as to the potential of the country, and of course, as well as for African growth and development. Well, according to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, attracting investors to the country won't be a big problem. After this speech has been trending, <laughs> different questions have been coming in from Nigerians. Questions like, which investment? <laughs> Another person said, now Mumu go come invest in Nigeria. If power supply no kill the business, insecurity will. 
If government policy is no killer, taxes will. Nigeria has always sabotaged its progress. The only time we saw something with a semblance of progress was between 2011 till 2015. How can you say Nigeria is open for business when there are insecurities all over the country? Foreign investors can invest in a country where there are Boko Haram, ESN, or no government. Because even if investors want to come, there are a lot of things to be considered. No stable electricity, poor road transportation, insecurities, and many more. And all these things have been the major problems of Nigeria. Well, people didn't stop there, no. Like I said, a lot of people have been dropping their opinion. However, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu was also asked another question. Yeah, the... Yes, no, or what are the impediments? Uh, I say yes, because uh, the promotional effort of and the Chancellor has visited to Africa recently is equally an indication that Europe is serious to do business with Africa. The good governance promotion in all sectors of our economy in Africa and stability of governance in Nigeria in particular, I would say, it is an indicator that, yes, changes are at the door, not uh, far off. Equally, we should continue to understand the data of Africa. When you look at Nigeria alone, the vehicular density of that country, a call for a sincere commitment to assembly plans, various auto parts, automotive parts, and all that. You can invest. There is no way if good governance in your corporate body is employed, there is no way you will lose money. That is that. Yes, uh, on Simmons, I agree that near obsolete equipment is not the answer, it's not the solution to what we needed in Africa. The critical path to success is to be able to leapfrog from where we are today to the next generation of development. And we are opening the door for all of that. The energetic population of youth and well-educated population that is available is enough to attract in, in, in every business human resources is a great capital incentive for investors. Yes, rule of law is a must because business, yes, may be cowardly. If you are bogged down in bigger, you know, bureaucratic uh, problems, you might not have the necessary investment that you expect. We are reforming the rule of law. We are adhering to that. And we definitely will continue to promote the opportunity given today by Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you. The critical part to success is to be able to leapfrog from where we are today to the next generation of development. Well, looking at what President Bola Ahmed Tinubu said, he has a point and we must say the truth because looking at the current state of Nigeria, are we really ready? So in the comment section, my people, share your honest thoughts and opinion. What do you think about this speech? So thanks for watching and please don't forget to like this video 
I beg and also don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to always be the first to get notification to always stay updated. Thank you and see you in my next video.